Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. This is gonna be Diablo 4 video, sorry for all the Dofus people, but I just can't wait for this game. So I'm gonna theorycraft craft uh, a build which uh, kind of applies to the build or further enhances the build I did earlier. Uh, there's not gonna be no gameplay in here, it's just gonna be me theorycrafting, crafting, just going in the D4 builds and just uh, trying to get what I'm gonna do for my build and how I'm gonna level it. So. Um, we're gonna jump right into it how i'm gonna level it this is the end build so uh, we're gonna build all the way up into this we're gonna get to this uh first we're gonna see how i'm gonna level the first 15 levels and it's gonna be quite basic i think all of the builds just gonna follow this path because it's i think the most optimal path for just to get level 15. i'm quite happy that it has a lot of lightning in it uh, so we can already ki kind of say that we're going the lightning path but this is just optimized path just to get to level 36 which is when our bird x build actually comes online and I just plan to have as much fun as, as, as possible up until that moment. But up until then, it's just going to be quite plain. So um, you've probably seen this in other builds as well. Uh, you're going to put two points in our clash and enhance our clash. Then you can uh, put uh, the one point in firewall comes later. Uh, first, you're going to level chain lining, enhance chain lining and create a chain lining. And you probably have enough points to get the teleport, ice armor and frost nova. Um, and then you'll probably need to put some points into chain lining to get it um, enough so you can get your ice blades as well. So um, you have one spot remaining, which kind of is like an empty slot and you don't really, I don't really know what to put in there. So I would say just put in uh, ice blades because it also has the vulnerable. Uh, it has a good chance of that. Uh, but you could also opt in for like flame shields, hydra or lightning spear if you would like that for yourself as well. Then for a level 15, uh, you're going to grab the fireball because uh, with the, you need to actually get the skill to get the enhancement and this will just help you clear uh, rooms a lot faster. Fireball is optional. If you say, I don't want to do fireball, I think I'm already dealing quite enough damage or killing like mobs fi fast enough and fireball is not that much fun, then I would uh, suggest getting the chain lining. Chain lining is also better for bosses because you basically every three casts, you get a free cast of chain lining, which is great against the boss uh, where you really need the uh, the tar the single target damage because it is quite difficult for this build to actually got um be like a boss slayer type of build it's great against multiple enemies but against one it's uh, quite a bit more difficult then uh, getting on to 10 more levels you can actually drop the ice blades and you can go for uh, unstable currents our favorite ultimate skill and uh, also i would say get the basic skill damage topaz in your uh, items because we're going to be r clashing a lot more uh, for the enhancements, I would just say get the chain lightning one. Uh, you're gonna max chain lightning as well, and now you've just got both, so you can clear better and you can do bosses better. Uh, I, as I said before, arc lash, and you're gonna go for the movement speed upgrade for now. Um, I, I would say you don't have anything that stuns a lot, so stunning will won't come online till later. Uh, yes, you do have your auto attack that stuns every ten times, but I don't say it's consistent enough for you to actually uh, then hit him more times to actually gain some benefit from this. I would say the movement seed is quite nice, 18%. You can actually use that to position yourself better and do better hits with the arc lash and also get better chain lighting procs. Uh, for the rest of it, I would say uh, level up teleport. So it has some damage reduction. This damage reduction is amazing. Um, getting the glass cannon is great, uh, but if you're feeling too squishy, I would say take points out of that. Maybe get them in the teleport or save more often. Uh, frost no uh, level frost over over some more or actually get um, your ice ar armor enhanced. I would actually say putting this point in the air is uh, better. So we've uh, we've already improved this build uh, because your build's quite mana hungry, especially with all of the chain line you're casting. So this will give you like five seconds of increased mana regeneration, which will be ma make you more useful and make you able to cast more chain lightnings, uh, which is already what you want to be doing right here, um, chain lightning and then. If your uh, if your chain lining is all, or your mana is all depleted, then you're just gonna arc lash them, whip them a few times up, and then when your chain lining is backing up and go, and you go again. Um, but this time you also have the unstable currents, and I would also say put one point into coursing currents because it's a great skill, especially low at the beginning. You won't have a lot of critical strike chance, uh, so it'll be quite low. But with this, you can build it up to like 20%, and then whip out a chain lightning that just does a lot of damage because it will crit a lot of times and it will also gain critical strike chance so there's even more chance for the hits to bounce you'll be dealing massive amounts of damage especially if it bounces upon you and the, and the boss this this actually this build uh does do quite well against bosses at around this level because um 
because of these synergies right here. So then we get to the, actually the good part, you know, when the boss, when the build actually becomes lightning focused, uh, as if it wasn't already, but even more lightning focused and also switch it up from getting the uh, chain lightning. Uh, we're not now, but we're going to go with the charge bolts. And this is where it really becomes close range because you can chain lightning for far away, but charge bolts really, you've got to stand up and close and personal with the boss, which I really hope it's gonna work out. Um, I really like the close and personal play style. Uh, I, I know just play a barbarian is a different kind of way, but uh, you can do lightning on the barbarian. I really want something lightning and also close range to, to just be up and personal. I really like this type of uh, gameplay. So um, this is why I created this build. And uh, let's get into why I actually chose chart bolts. Chart bolt also deals quite a lot of damage and it also has synergy um, with stunned enemies. So you will be dealing even more enemy, uh, il dealing even more damage if you hit stunned enemies. Uh, and of course the enhancement is that you, uh, when you stun an enemy, you, you deal even more charge bolts from them. And also when you use a cooldown, you do more, uh, you get, um, st you stun people around you, which also has a chance to s summon more stun bolts. So there's already a s synergy just on there with the enchantments and all of your skills, except for your charge bolts on R class are just cooldowns. And especially your, um, a teleport you'll be spamming a lot uh, you'll be trying to proc as many uh, as much as you're uh, just doing this over and over again so you can actually stun more enemies and then get the enemy stun get more charge bolts in there and then just do more charge bolts uh, when this, when your cooldowns are a cooldown you hit enemies with your arc lash and which will also stun them more damage and then uh, reduce your cooldowns which you can spam again and then the whole tree the whole thing just starts again so of course, Arc Lash maxed out. This time you take the Glinting Arc Lash. So hitting enemies will reduce your cooldown, uh, which is great. Then your Charge Bolt with the extra damage against stunned enemies. Uh, your Teleport, I would say uh, leveling your Teleport is quite handy. I'm not sure why I didn't do this. Oh, oh, okay, this is because the this is when it actually comes online. So this is the minimum necessary amount of points. The next things I would probably get is leveling your Teleport, but that will come in the next step. Um, Glass Cannon, I would say you could even take some points out of Glass Cannon just to get your uh, cooldown reduced. And if you're feeling quite squishy, this is 30% damage reduction. And with the cooldown reduction, you can get this up a lot of the time. So I would say this is maybe even better. Then uh, I actually took Lightning Spear instead of Frost Nova. This is what's, what's kind of weird. Um, I will need to test this out a little bit because I haven't done this in the betas. Uh, but Lightning Spear actually has a chance of when it critically strikes, it stuns for two seconds and uh, it, it increases critical strike and the critical strike for the whole duration each time it crits. So if you have some decent critical strike chance, which we get from this uh, course in currents, it will actually start gaining more and more critical strikes and during the six second duration and start stunning more enemies. And this synergizes because we get more damage each time it stuns. So this won't just be doing 15% uh, damage per hit. No, every time it stuns, it will also deal an additional 45% damage, which means out of one cast of Lightning Spear, you can get a whole lot of damage. And also, because this hits a lot of times, it searches out enemy and just starts hitting them. Um, each time it also has a 9%, which do you do have to... Um, uh, do times uh, so one fourth of nine percent, which is around two to three percent, um, just to get uh, like two and a half percent chance er every time it hits to also stun him, which would then also deal more damage. And remember, each stun has a chance to summon more charged bolts, so this all synergizes really well with stun. And this is where it actually comes to online. So I would say around 36, I would switch your builds and actually go to the stun build. So then the question is, yeah, but, but when does it actually come online? Also, Verse Mastery really synergizes well with the being close range. Um, critical Strikes also increase the bonuses from this, uh, which means this one, which increase your Critical Strike chance, this one, which actually also increases Critical Strike chance, is really good synergy with this. Um, increasing your damage and the damage you take as well. Uh, this will just be running around, hitting enemies, reducing their damage taken, stunning them hopefully, and then e dealing even more damage for you. And this actually searches out enemies. So the downside of this, which is quite close range, um, is kind of a little bit negated by this because it also summons the, the bolts next to them, which is great. 
then we get to how it will be if you're like level 50 uh of course topaz the same thing uh for abilities same as, as always this is not going to change anymore you're going to pick your lightning spirit and, and you're going to level it now but we'll get into that just a little bit later for the aspects i would say these are aspects you can get randomly so it's not like an arc one you need to get these but if you get some aspects these will be quite essential for your build uh, it's dealing extra damage against stunned enemies I, I don't have to say stunned anymore because you know this build is all about stunning people and dealing damage to it so you're going to be this is just a extra damage for you you're going to be stunning a lot of enemies although bosses the, the bosses are going to be quite difficult uh because you can't stun them sadly and also uh you restore primary resource every time you stun an enemy which is amazing because if you're using your cooldowns using your unstable current and then you're spamming out charge bolts you actually gain back a lot of mana because all of the abilities that you summon out which could be lightning spirits which also can crit stun enemies and it also then just give you more back for more charge bolts and more charge bolts a uh, charge bolts will be able to stun them as well it's a whole synergy every ability has a chance to stun and stuns are amazing for you um I'm getting quite sick and tired of saying stuns, but we're gonna say that just a little bit more. Uh, what I've leveled is my teleport, so now it's on an 8.8 .8 second cooldown. This can be almost five seconds if you reduce it with uh, three seconds hitting six enemies, uh, which means you can get your 30% damage reduction up a lot of time. Um, so you al almost always have a 30% damage reduction, which completely negates your 9% more damage reduction, uh, 9% more damage you take, giving you some nice damage bonus. Um, Furthermore, the charge bolts already leveled up. Uh, Ice armor has, of course, the mana regeneration, which is great. You'll be able to cast more uh, charge bolts, especially during your unstable current, which is the best time to cast charge bolts. I also put 1% in this one, so you can get uh, less damage from elites. Uh, elites can still slap you quite a bit, especially since you're not taking Frost Nova. It is quite... Good that you have some different types of uh, protection against that one slap that might insta kill you uh 40 percent damage uh, the decrease is insane by the way um then the static discharge and the shocking impact is already something we had and uh for the other oh yeah of course course incurrence very important critical strike in our build critical strike chance is also very important for your rings so be mindful of that if you have a ring that has critical strike chance do take that one it is very also try to get it on your relic your second hand slot um which means you will be able to get more critical strikes your lightning spear will do more critical strike uh, will do more damage as well um and because um critical strikes synergizes so well with lightning spear i actually thought yeah let's just put some poison in it and even though the damage scaling is pretty bad you'll probably be getting quite a few lightning spears from the unstable currents and just from uh casting it so I'd say might as well put as much damage on it as possible, but most of the damage pro will probably be going from the stuns that we'll be doing instead of the actual damage, which means you can also take these points out and then you have four more points to spend wherever you want. Uh, I'm actually just gonna show you what I've done for the whole build, just in the skill tree because we're at it already. Uh, I did extra mana and when you, um, you have 9% increased damage when your crawl skills are actually uh, when you are above 50 mana so the, i think that also means that this um releasing charge bolts will also deal more damage but that does need some testing but it is the core skill that deals the damage so i think nine percent extra damage if you are, are above 50 mana which will then in incentivize you to actually stay above a certain threshold of mana and that will also synergize with well with some other stuff which i will show you in just a second um, but furthermore uh yeah the ele elemental achievement is also good just to have one point in it because it can only happen once every 10 seconds i think you'll be critting 20 times in 10 seconds i think that's very possible especially with uh the lightning spear uh which you're just your uh, your charge bolts is constantly hitting you our clash can hit up to an infinite amount of enemies that fit in that space so i'd say it's pretty uh especially you have some crit chance which you obviously do from this it's just it kind of synergize quite well and you'll be able to hit those 20 crits in uh 10 seconds which means you'll be procking this almost every time but it does need some testing but you'll be procking this a lot of times which means 
one more teleport or an extra shield, which is amazing. Uh, extra shield is very good, really increases your survivability because then you can have six more seconds of invulnerability, closing that gaps of 14 seconds where you're quite vulnerable. Uh, then furthermore, to close that 14 second gap even more, which I was talking about just now, uh, every time you use a cooldown, you gain a barrier for two seconds, which doesn't really seem like much, two seconds, but I think you can keep this up quite a lot because you have this one, uh, this one, and this one just constantly going back and forth and then the unstable current coming in there and coming and going. So I think you can keep this up quite a lot more and increasing your, especially if you see a lot of enemies around you, you use a cooldown, you just gain an extra barrier so you can get just a little bit that stronger. Uh, and it also means that your barrier won't instantly get popped, which you will be able to uh, deal some damage and get more barrier back. So I think that synergizes pretty well with it as well. Um, and yeah, what we said earlier, you can take out these four points and maybe get the damage reduction, which is quite well. And uh, I would say uh, there is one more that I was quite curious about. Yeah, uh, you deal increased damage for each active uh, conjuration. I think this right now, because it's... Um, 2% is not that much because you, then you would just get a 2% damage buff from this. But I think with the unstable current, you actually have a chance to get more or two or three more of these. I actually had consistently had two of these up uh, when I did the beta. So I think it is quite possible to have more than two of these up or just put them in some other slots. Um, there's other uh, things that are also quite well. Uh, maybe even, no, not crackling energy. There was some other thing. Uh, skill elements nah it doesn't really matter right now because there are still some other things maybe even <laughs> lucky hit chance because lucky hit chance does increase uh, the i think this is a lucky hit so increasing your lucky hit chance is actually directly getting you more stuns so also something you could watch out for and be like oh and let's uh, try to increase that, see how that goes. And these are a lot of things that are still quite malleable to play around with, but this is really what excites me and just wants me to go play the game, which will take another week, but I'm really excited to go and play the, just play the game next week. Um, furthermore, let's uh, continue on with the, the aspects before I finish the video. Um, dealing more damage against uh, crowd-controlled enemies, getting more mana back, which will allow you to spam more. Then also using a cooldown restores mana. This is amazing because, just give me one sec. Ugh, really a sore throat from talking all the time. Uh, using a cooldown restores your mana back, which means you, when you will be using your cooldowns, especially when you use unstable currents, you'll be able to just get warm up. What is that extra charge pulled out, which means you will be able to get a uh, mastery conjuration or um, Cork uh, shock skill out of there as well, and then synergize all with the stun and stuff. You know, you know the drill. It, it just there's a whole um, chain going. More attack speed. I, I shouldn't have said this. Uh, I shouldn't have to say this, but um, more attack speed means more cooldown reduction. More cooldown reduction means more unstable currents, more abilities, and you know that you know the drill by now. Uh, when you crowd control an enemy, there's a chance to crowd control another enemy. I think this means that your uh, shocking impact will actually proc on this and if your shocking impact procs on this that also means that there's a chance that your charge bolts enhancement enchantment will proc on this as well which synergizes quite well especially if you stun like 10 enemies this means that three more enemies will get stunned there's a lot more damage in there so all these things need to stack up and they just need to deal more damage stacked and stacked up one of the weaknesses of this build is that the uh, it doesn't deal, it doesn't have any uh, health regeneration. I'll go over the downsides of the build in just a second, but uh, it doesn't have any health regeneration. So if you're out of health potions, you're fucked. So uh, to mitigate this a little bit, I did the heal because uh, you're already quite tanky. You don't take that much damage. You also have barriers on command or well on each cooldown, pardon me. Um, but this also means that you have some options of actually getting some heals in there and get just getting that consistent life for a second. And you're going to be close and up to enemies anyway. Uh, so this is just getting that little bit more of survivability in there uh, because you already have mobility and damage because you can really get some extra survivability. Uh, 
Then your charge bolts, which will be spawning endlessly because you'll be stunning endlessly and you'll be spamming it the ability as well. They have um, a chance to be attracted to enemies and they last just 300% longer. So that's that both of these things are amazing uh, because one of the downsides of this is actually that you can just miss. And this kind of mitigates the missing chance, which just means more damage. And also the range also mitigates that part of it. Um, great for just getting your weaknesses better. Uh, anyway, basic skills can damage reduction. You're already quite tanky, but getting this, more damage reduction. I had this in the beta. Six seconds, you'll be attacking for sure every few, every second almost. But six seconds is a lot. So if you can get the six seconds, that means just means you get this 20% bonus constantly great um extra movement speed you need to get in close range uh, you need to get out of close range sometimes and not the teleport isn't up 100 percent of the time so getting extra move speed or just clearing a dungeon more fa fa quicker it's just it's good then uh the last one when an unstable current is not active your shock skills have a five to ten percent chance to trigger free free casts from it so that means you get a free cast of unstable currents from one of your abilities which you will be spamming uh, that's amazing and especially with the cooldowns and stuff you'll be getting a lot of these out a lot um this is only 30 mana so you can almost guess this four times just uh without any uh cooldown uh, without any mana things but then you actually restore some stuff you get them back and i think you can pretty consistently uh proc this within the 70 second cooldown uh 10% chance means you got to cast things 10 times, which you'll definitely be able to do. And the Arc Lash will uh, regenerate it uh, ahead of its time as well, which means if you get 10 seconds from the cooldown and then 10 seconds again in the time, which means 20 out of 70 seconds, it will be uh, cast, I think, with some good cooldown reduction as well from your Arc Lash. You can get this up like 50% of the time, I would say. Uh, the, need some testing if this actually does um, uh, refresh the cooldown but this is quite a lot of synergy right here and i really love that it has quite a lot of synergy in here uh, uh just for the same you'll be out attacking a lot as well be doing a lot of basic skills and uh, so i would say the topus is one of the best out there uh maximum life i would say uh, it has some difficulties getting more life uh, but berry regeneration is all i didn't even see that that's also something that's quite um I think berry regeneration is maybe the better one and for this uh armor is also pretty good uh but i would just say fill the resistances that you need if you see your uh armor set is lacking a lot of cold resistance just get the cold resistance or if you think i can just use some more armor get some more armor i don't know for sure what what really works in armor or resistance to all elements it really depends on what kind of enemies you're trying to clear uh but that just it's situational and it depends as for Paragon, I haven't really looked into it that much, but I do know that um, you can get one gate that has the stunning close enemies restores 10 mana. Um, this is this, but on steroids. So, uh, well, not on steroids because it needs to be close and depends on how close. But if, if it is, you know, what we think it is, then you can proc this quite a lot, which means every time you use a cooldown, you get mana back which means you can use charge bolts again which means that a lot of enemies are going to be stunned a lot of damage and you can start hitting them which means you get your cooldowns back in quicker blah blah blah, blah. You, you know the drill by now so that was it for this video i hope you enjoyed it's quite different from the last video because it was just tier crafting and me just talking and talking and talking i really thank you if you made you through this whole video uh, i hope you're excited as uh, for diablo 4 as i am because i'm hella excited and I just can't stop thinking about it. So I'm going to end this video by this. Thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you'll try out this build. I for sure am. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.